YouTube, what's up? Scarecrow here. Um, I am days late on getting this deck profile out. Uh, my camera, I tried to record it several times to get so I could get it out a little bit on time, but my camera kept fucking it up. So, finally getting it done, hopefully. Hope it doesn't get messed up this time, but this is my deleter deck profile for standard. So, uh, let's not delay it anymore. Uh, we have our starter. Um, and then for our triggers, we got four heal, uh, two vanilla draw, four PG, uh, and six crit. Um, I go for a six six split uh, because this deck hits hard, so it can make up for the slightly less crits. Uh, but this deck doesn't generate card advantage very well, so the draw triggers help with that. Um, that's pretty much it. Moving on to the grade ones. Uh, first, we got our four um, ferment deleter. Uh, this guy is pretty good uh, in this deck. Really, anyone could be an attacker because you delete their vanguard and you have force gifts. So this guy can attack, and then you can discard one, retire him, draw a card, and get rid of one of their guys. So you break even out of it, but. Um, if you're gonna attack with them and you want to kill something, you might as well as long as as well as you can like hand filter. Uh, next, we got four ill fate deleter. Uh, don't get to use him a lot, but he's there to cover the basis of if you're uh, locked out. If you need counter blast, um, you can also use him to like kill a guy. But um, yeah, he gives you soul and can counter charge, so he is helpful. You don't use him a lot, but he is there to help manage resources because of the, your grade 1 options, he's amongst the better choices. And then our last grade 1, Far Opener of Dark Gate. This card is cool. Um, if your opponent has 2 or less, you get to scry 2 and call 1. Um, it's a good card. Soul Blast 1, get a card. Uh, good. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, moving on to the grade 2s, we got four of each hailing deleter uh these cards i kind of underestimated them with my first impressions of them because i didn't like the way they use up cost in this deck which is cost heavy but they're working pretty good i like that when you have one you have the other uh, i like alba more than I like elro uh elro has an on hit but it's really not that big a deal i kind of prefer alba just for the fact that he's a beat stick so it's also cool that you can ride one of these and uh, know that later on you can just soul blast it and then you'll be able to utilize it from the drop zone. Uh, then for the last grade two, uh, I'm playing four lie down deleter, uh, given. Uh, this is a good card. Um, it, some people give it like, like haze it a little, um, but I think it's a good card. I would say that like, at least half, if not more, of the games I've actually won are because of this card. Um, it is, like, a big negative, but if you're going for a game, like, who cares how many negatives you have? Um, like, this deck doesn't have a ton of things going for it, but I would say this is one of them. Um, Restanding a Vanguard with a crit while your opponent is zero is very strong, and even, like, the times where like you do this play and they don't actually die that turn you've probably put such a dent in their resources that they uh, can't like fight back really so you're gonna end up winning anyway but it's not a perfect card but it is pretty good I would say it's contributed a lot to like success the deck has seen um, I'm not running a swift deleter here this card isn't bad but like I just didn't find it like being relevant enough, so I cut it. I just found like the hailing deleters um, just being better, and given being like my win con. So yeah, I decided to cut it. Uh, then moving on to the grade threes, uh, we first got our four docking deleter. This card isn't very good um, overall. But it does give us a force gift and it has an on hit pressure that typically, if I'm riding him as my first ride, 
I just ride him, give himself a force, and swing 23. Then my opponent has to let it hit or guard it. And then if they don't let it, or if they let it hit, I can then kill something. Uh, I don't think the Counter Blast 2 is typically worth it. Uh, especially on a first ride. You're better off just conserving your resources for later. Um, I also play for the V-Rare, uh, which is a really good card. Um, it's one of the only things giving this deck like a good shot at doing anything. Um, he's a terrible first ride, though. You really don't want to ride him first ride. He doesn't really do anything. But after that, he's great. Um, ride, kill something, get a crit, delete their Vanguard. You can restand with Given to go for game. Um, he's a good card. You have to see him, and you have to probably ride him at least twice if you're gonna try to win the game. Um, I then also play one Schwarzschild Dragon. Now, Schwarzschild Dragon overall is not a very good card. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. Like its second skill, pretty worthless if you ask me. Um, he's in here mostly just to be another three because uh, you don't wanna ride uh, Waving the Leader first. Just having an, like another grade three that I can ride before him. Um, like helps. Um, I can just ride him, get a gift, kill something, and then ride over him later. That's really why I'm playing him, just to be another grade three in the deck. But yeah, that is uh that is it for the deck. That is my daughter. 